Good morning. I got sleep last night. Yes! Last night I did a quick walkthrough. That's when the light bulb burned out in my light. Um, and it wasn't, you couldn't see a whole lot. So I'm just gonna do a quick, quick walkthrough. And yes, it's raining right now, so I'm also doing this quick. Huh, fire's still going from last night, interesting. Wow, that's amazing, because it's been raining. So anyway, all the plastic is up. Over there, over here, and over here. Um, barbecue pit, and that's how I tacked down the plastic, got those painted up. Got all the plastic surrounding the Pepper's Ghost, where that's gonna be. Going down the pathway, all the plastic's up on the sides, down to the prop car, fence for the prop car that was done two days ago. Uh, and this is what I started fabricating last night. The rail is actually gonna be attached to the two x four. This is for the pocket door to keep people in here so that they get scared by the car and they don't keep going. And of course, you guys know about the lights and the horn. Boneyard, nothing new with that. But here's the little alcove so far with all the plastic up where the actor's gonna be for the uh, pocket scare. And everything back right back over there is just gonna be other junk from the yard that I need to put somewhere that won't fit uh, in the bone yard. Take a right down to uh, choose your path. Got all the plastic up. Prop cars on the other side right there. Plastic up over here on this side. Still need to do on both sides right here the plastic coming down so that people can't see the other side. And come around here to the the forest of doom. And I'll tell you guys, I don't even like coming back here at night because this part right here is kind of scary and there's like real spider webs all the time. See? Look. Not sure if you can see them. Spider web? Oh yeah, you can see it. And then of course come out and double dog. So, that was a real quick walkthrough. Don't want to get the camera wet. It's time to keep building. You guys have been wanting to see this now for a while, haven't you? <laughs> um, basically, I'm doing the tethers and I need to redo them, so don't judge me yet. Uh, you guys already know the tethers for the prop car are there. And they come back here. And what I've done, just to make it as strong as possible, I'm keeping the original fitting. This might tighten up a little bit. Um, this one here might also tighten up. I want to go and do this style over here. And basically, uh, there's still movement in the track. I just pushed the prop car once, and you can see the track moved about this far right here, about a finger's width. So I have gone and gotten rebar. I'm gonna take a rebar stake in front of this one, this cross support here, and also back here. I don't, I don't want it to hit the fence. It just got through hitting the fence, and I know that it's, everything's gonna shift forward a little bit more as the ropes tighten up. I'm rambling, it's still windy, you probably can't even hear me. I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so I went back, redid the tethers on it, took all that long ass rebar and it's in the ground like far enough to only have like maybe three inches stick out there 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 here back there that one's not down as far I hit a rock and over there but no one's gonna snag it on themselves because it's like right there next to the post and because of the prop car track moving forward it is now sturdy against these so these actually are what stopped it because I ran it forward like several times to try and get the track shifted as far forward as I could so that there wouldn't be any movement and there'd be very little strain against the post that I put down on the ground. Both of these tethers are done the exact same way. So they should be even. Let me go get the bird's eye view for you guys before it starts to really pour and uh, give you guys a little test run. Keep in mind, it's not programmed yet. I don't have the secondary sound yet, the one with the squealing tires and engine revving. And I also don't have the uh, brake light, or, yeah, the brake lights or the reverse lights uh, programmed yet. So 
This is your point of view. This is your POV right here. Now, I need to go back and look at the footage because I'm sure that's gonna be pretty damn scary. I've been working on the pocket door. Here's the rail that I've got up. And of course I could have used a two by 10 by, or a two by four by 10, but I did not have a two by four by 10. So I used a two by four by eight and did that. So anyway, there's the whole track. And I've started to work on the door itself. I, I've got some uh, those small slat panels, like these right here, the fairing strips that we use for that. I think I wanna use those on this. I want to keep it as light as possible. These are what I'm talking about. Wow. Okay, so the wind's not over yet. I was going to start this, and it's kind of funny, because the instant I hit the record button, the, the wind started going. Anyway, pop quiz hot shot. You want to keep the pallet look, but you don't have any pallets left. And you don't need structural integrity. People aren't going to be walking on it. What do you do? What do you do? This is what you do. Use these thin little furring strips, two by twos for the frame, and I've now created the pallet, uh, the pallet pocket door to keep up the same kind of theme with the pallets all over. So, okay, I haven't said it in a while. I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, before I get into it, one little thing that really sucks, uh, if you guys ever do this and you get like scrap metal to use, for the track, make sure it's a closet door track. Went out and bought the casters, and the casters for it were too big. The, you know, the little closet door wheels. So I had to end up clipping off the nylon part and using just the stub on the end of it. So the last thing I have to do to this is bend the outside track piece that's not used. This one right here. I have to bend that in more so that this does not pop off. Here is the activation of the door. Comes pretty much flush with right here, but still enough that an actor can just grab it right here and pull it and open it. And then stop her so it doesn't go off the track. And I've also bent the track up a bit right there too so this won't pop off. Safety, number one, when it comes to my homeowner's insurance. Or at least that's what I'm told. People come down the hallway to the prop car the prop car has not activated yet, but that will be up. People will come here. They'll be intrigued by the prop car. They'll be like, wow, look at that car off in the distance. That's not too scary. <laughs> Why is there a fence here? Hmm. And then, boom, they get scared. And then, this door, after the boomerang scare, after they get scared by this, you guys have seen this, horn and lights after the scare of the prop car and then mysteriously the door opens and now the people can go through to the other side with hopefully slightly wetter pants <laughs> all right guys subscriber shout outs and coc here we go but wait first things first I've already crossed off prop car and tethers, and now pocket door is off the list. And now we have subscriber shout outs. MBPK96, Movie Director 1000, Mr. DeLeon9999, <laughs> Budget Haunts, and Emily Flames for Life. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And now let's do some cock. So it's funny, whenever I say that, I always think of um, The Soup, you know, hosted by Joel McHale, uh, and then the chat stew part of it. Chat stew, so meaty. I don't know, it just pops in my head. First comment of the night, J -Ting Glorious. I love the smell of a good vlog in the morning. Absolutely. A windstorm totally destroyed mine last year. Don't worry about it. It would help if you took one corner of each plastic sheet and let it free so it could flap in the wind, or and the wind could blow through. Yeah, I've thought about doing that. I mean, not taking one end free. Um, somebody else uh, further up in the comments was also talking about, you know, cutting slits in it. I might have to do that. I really don't want to, but I might. Hyperhex Florington 5. 
Glad the field test on the haunted walls went okay. It really did. It showed that the rebar that's in the ground and everything, it, it, it'll hold them up, or at least for a 25 mile an hour wind. I don't know if we get anything stronger, have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Columbia Manor, take some of that uh, bent rebar Keith did and hammer those into the ground. That should help hold the pallets down in the spots where they were lifting off the ground. I think I know what you're talking about. The curved piece, put it over like the bottom uh, two by four of the pallet. Um, again, also a good idea. Very useless words. You must have gotten our wind. That's right, because you're down in Oregon, right? It was gusty yesterday morning. Now it's all rainy, which I like the change in weather. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, we got your rain today. And Keith, bah ha ha ha. Oh, he's going to love that one. When are you going to announce the winners? Huh? Huh? Uh, the winners. Um, I'm, I'm going to tabulate. I was going to tabulate today, but I got busy, so I'll probably do that tomorrow uh, to make sure I've got everybody included. Um, and then I don't know. I'll let you guys know. The winners will be to be announced soon. Um, I'm going to do it on Vlog TV. I don't know when. I'm not sure if the Wendy's Dollar Menu Challenge is going to happen at the restaurant now or not. Unfortunately, uh, just the way that things work. So we'll probably do it here at the house. Oh, and I plan on buying the large when I get paid, so save it for me, please, or please. <laughs> um, better hurry up. First come, first serve, and they're limited edition. The original thought is I'm not printing anymore because I dropped like a load of money to have inventory on t-shirts, and like I said, I might still continue to take orders and print them as needed for now. The main problem with that is I'm not going to have time to do anything about it, until like after Halloween. So I'd take like all the pre-orders and then after Halloween I'd go and have them printed. It's just nobody really wants a Halloween t-shirt after Halloween. So I don't know. We'll see. Chris 25 to fur. Quick fix for the walls that are tipping. Screw one foot pieces of 2x4 to the bottom of your problem areas and put cinder blocks on top of the 2x4 should help hold things down. Um, I did do that. That's probably one of the only things, well besides the rebar, that kept that first, the wall that I filmed yesterday, kept it from falling over. So yeah, good idea. Sailor's Grave Haunt. Have you tried putting strategically placed slits in the plastic to allow wind to pass through? That's kind of what I was saying before. I might have to do that. Drop dead. Sorry to see all the wind damage. You did a good thing. You jumped on it and took care of it. And yes, please find out about a 3 to 4X. It will give room for shrinking. Um, thanks, Barry. All right, cool. So I'm going to try and remember Barry. Drop dead. Ember Putt. Well, I guess it was better that the wind hit when you were off than not. It would have sucked if you were at work. <laughs> yeah, there was one year, 2009, that I started putting up plastic, but I hadn't attached everything to the carport out front, and I had to work the next day, and I get a call from one of my neighbors, and it's like, uh, dude, your plastic is like flying in the air. And it wasn't a big deal, it just flopped over because I didn't have the wall attached, so it just flopped over, and it was like, shh. Oh, you didn't see that. Shh. In the wind. JHMDF, stupid wind. I know, huh? <laughs> I know you most likely don't want to, but cutting slits in the plastic like someone mentioned before might be a good option. Even securing the plastic better might not stop it from ripping in stronger wind. Um, I hope it does, but we'll see what happens. My life, my world, my rules. Beetlejuice. Oops, I said it once. I'm not going to say it twice or three times. Um, that's hot just like you, so it works. Giggles. <laughs> Thank you. You're making me blush. Sucks your stuff was almost ruined, but come on, the wind actually thinks it can take it down. Pfft. Hell no, Halloween will prevail. Haha. -ha. Yes, it will. It, it takes a lot to discourage me. When I get my mind on something, it takes a lot to, like, get me sidetracked. Crazy man living. My neighbor has tons of pallets, and he just gives them away. I wish I could get some to you, but I live in Louisiana. Yeah, the ship <laughs> shipping and handling probably would be kind of outrageous, huh? Iceman11211, sorry to hear about the wind. I guess Mother Nature was having a mood swing. And thanks for making my day with your daily <laughs> vlogs. Thank you for watching and making the view counts go up, and and legitimate view counts go up. I don't know what happened. There's like a couple days ago that like three videos in a row got like over 300 views and it's like somebody was sitting there hitting refresh which doesn't help anything. It just throws me off. Anyway, I'm going to stop bitching. TML, I was so afraid that you would think I meant because you were boring that I posted the second comment. When I watch videos, I usually lay down on my couch with a computer beside me. I will need to sit up when watching after haunting. I sit up when I'm editing and I fell asleep the other night, so maybe I should try editing standing on my head. <laughs> my egg 12. 
freaking wind sucks. I had some damage today too. Oh well, onward we must go. At least that helps in working the bugs out. It really does. It shows you where your weak spots are and you go and you fix those and then you find some more weak spots and you fix those and then you find some more weak spots and you fix those and before you know it, it's Halloween and you're scrambling to get the stuff done that you should have been getting done when you're fixing all the stuff that you shouldn't have had to fix. Wow. That was almost a Micro Machine Dude moment. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Grr, arg, 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 grr, ar